what is the purpose of safety net and transport dumpster transport dumpster helps to protect against data loss by maintaining a queue of successfully delivered messages that hadn't replicated to the passive mailbox database copies in the DAG. When a mailbox database or server failure required the promotion of an out-of-date copy of the mailbox database, the message in the transport dumpster were automatically resubmitted to the new active copy of the mailbox database. The transport dumpster has been improved in Exchange 2013 and is now called SafetyNet. Simi similarity between SafetyNet and transport dumpster in Exchange 2010. Safety net is a queue that associated with the transport service on the mailbox server. This queue stored stores copies of mail uh, of messages that were successfully proceed by the server. You can specify how long safety net stores copy of the successfully proceed message before they expire and are automatically deleted. The default is two days. Here is how safety net is different in Exchange 2013. Safety net doesn't require DAGs for mailbox servers that don't belong to a DAGs. Safety net stores copies of the delivered message on other mailbox servers in the local Active Directory site. Safety net itself is now redundant and is no longer a single point of failure. This introduced to the concept of the primary safety net and the shadow safety net. If the primary safety net is unavailable for more than 12 hours, resubmit request becomes shadow resubmit request and messages are redelivered from the shadow safety net. Safety net takes over some responsibility from shadow redundancy in DAC environments. Shadow redundancy doesn't need to keep another copy of the delivered message in a shadow queue while it waits for a delivered message to replicate to the passive copies of the mailbox database on on the other mailbox server in the DAG. The copy of the delivered message is already stored in SafetyNet, so the message can be resubmitted from SafetyNet if necessary. In Exxon 2013, transport high availability is more than just a best effort for message redundancy. Exchange 2030 attempts to guarantee message redundancy. Because of this, you can't specify a maximum size limit for SafetyNet. You can only specify how long SafetyNet stores messages before they are automatically deleted.